Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Robinson here, and we're going to talk about the CBT testing for New York State Ed. So we've been over this hurdle before, so I just want to go over a few things with you. So let's get to it. You should go to the Google browser and type in it, uh, CBT and NYSED sampler practice that'll get you straight there to it so type that in and the different things will come up and you select computer-based testing cbt new york state ed department that'll get you to this page where you select the question sampler you're on the new york state ed department website question sampler, then select the New York State question sampler, and that'll get you to this link of the Nextera uh, practice set. So if you select that, it will get you to the test itself, the practice test itself, where you can select the subject area, be it math or English, um, select the grade that we're doing seven and eight we're working on. So select your grade and you can select which test you wanna take, one, two, or three. I selected uh, the test, one of the sample tests uh, for grade seven. So uh, basically we went over it in the other video, how you can zoom in and out, the bookmarks, notes, reference highlighter. So everything has pretty much stayed the same. I'll mention about the warning about the calculator the calculator, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, it does not simplify, so they have not changed it yet, so please be aware of it, as well as it does have math print, which is great, but uh, be aware that it does not simplify fractions. So uh, there are extended response questions that are there, which require the kids to show their work. They'll have to use this uh, e equation editor so get them to be familiarized with that, so how they can put that in. But I want to point out something new that's been added on. I mentioned this uh, last year as well about the um, drawing tool now. So that's something that's different. And one good thing I'm going to talk about is the eighth grade teachers don't have to worry about the seventh grade um, uh, uh, topics, post topics being there about the measurement of angles. And I know we have a ruler and protractor down there and maybe constructing angles uh, might be in the mist, but you don't have to worry about that with the drawing tool because it's not there at least yet, not yet. So um, you can see a example of the drawing tool. So let me go and get it so you can see it. So here's the drawing tool. If you click on it, this piece of paper comes out and you can start drawing on it. So if you want to make circles or triangles and it works good with a uh, pen uh, that you can use to write on or if you're using a mouse or your finger to write on, it's good. Do your parallel lines and get your angles there. So, so you can write and draw once you have drawn or written whatever it is, uh, and uh, you can add it to your uh, test. I believe you can add up to three, maybe four pictures, uh, drawings there. So if you made a mistake in the drawing, it's easy to erase that. Suppose you wanted this to be an open circle and you wanted to indicate some type of section just click back on the pencil and that'll be a slice out of your pie so so that way uh you can edit and then save your drawing add it there so um clear it all if you want you can clear it but it's a nice drawing tool that we have to be aware of to let the students know that they are they might be expected to do some type of diagram on their test. So that's the newest thing that's added on to the 
test. So go over this with your kids so they can be familiar with it. So that way they'll be ready for the state test. So, so good luck. There's some more things you should know before uh, the kids submit the test. You should review uh, with them uh, to make sure that they answered all their questions because it will tell you at the end what questions were not answered and they should go back before they submit. So check to see that all ans they answered all the questions. But if they have answered, uh, it does give you the warning that before you submit your test. Once you submit, you are gone. So you can sign out and the test is over. So that's the question sampler for the New York State uh, testing program for practice. So we're getting them ready for the state test. So please watch the video. Uh, if you have questions, please write, write me an email, drobinson at peakskillschool.org or robinsonmath at aol.com. So I hope you found the video helpful and you can use it for your students. All right, thank you, that's it for me.